What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the nice two overall team of the season so far. Undav, I believe is how you pronounce the card. Now, he is currently going for 70k. So, it's not an expensive SBC, obviously. But if we're looking at 3 star skill moves in June, it's a bit of an issue. Now, the 5 star weak foot is always going to be beautiful. He has got 94 pace and 90 dribbling, 92 shooting, 97 physical and 83 passing. He is 5 foot 10, so he even has a decent height to him. I don't like the work rate. Medium low is not something I always look into. I prefer high medium or even medium medium for a striker. But as I said, he has got a 3 star, sk his three -star skill moves and that's something I don't really like too much. Now, he is on a engine chem style. He is on 10 chem. 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. It's clear of day. This guy is insanely fast and he will be outpacing most center backs. He has got 92 attack and position, 94 finishing with the 99 shot power. No shooting traits or even no traits at all, which is always going to be a disappointment. But hopefully, you know, hopefully his composure, 84 composure. Doesn't make him hit post too often. He also has 86 long shots, 90 volleys. He has got 97 vision, 80 crossing, 99 free kick accuracy, 95 short passing, 64 long passing, and 99 curve. Now, if we're talking through the passing aspect, it looks like he's going to be able to do the little cheeky one twos and a tick attack play. But when it comes down to overtop and the ball, 64 long passing is not going to be great. He has got 99 agility, 99 balance, 86 reactions, 96 ball control, 94 dribbling, and 84 composure. Now, as I said, the composure stat is never going to be amazing. But other than that, he actually looks pretty decent. 86 reactions is quite low for a team in a season. But it looks like we're just going to have to deal with it. But everything else, like 99, 99 agility and 96 ball control, it's quite impressive. He has got 80 stamina. 80 stamina. EA, we're in June. We're in June, EA. You're giving a team of the season 80 stamina. This guy ain't going to last throughout the whole 90 minutes. And he will be he will be needing, you know, a little cheeky super sub. Or you could even use this guy as a super sub. He has got 99 strength and 92 aggression. For a striker that is 5 foot 10. It's something I did not expect. But we're going to see how this guy plays in game. But today we have linked him up with Littman and Gretzka. I've also likes the Coutinho, Adama and James in the team. I will be using Undav in a 4-4-2, playing him up front. And that's the only pos position I will be playing him today. I don't really feel like playing him cam because of his long passing. He could probably play down the wing. But I'm just going to keep it quite central today. But let's get into the games. Undav, come on. Use that pace, use that strength as well. That was incredible from him, but he did end up falling over. And I do agree that I did actually fake shot into him. So he was going to fall over either way, but he did really well with these pace there. And he kept the ball for longer than I expected. Undav on the ball. Half drag back. Oh my God, that should be a foul and we all know it. He's dribbling his unreal. Oh my God. Look at that. No, I tried to shield off Militao. I understand I did mess up quite a bit. And I was just like kind of testing his ability to just go around these players inside the box. But one thing I do realize while he's dribbling, he uses a lot of his strength to kind of just like bolt, like shoulder barge players off the ball, making sure they don't really get near it. Use that pace. Come on, you got that 99 acceleration. You got the 99 sprint speed. Little feature around the corner. But somehow, still... Eder Militao catches up to him, but not just that, he outstrengths him. And that is a big, big surprise. And that is a big letdown as well. Nice. Face shot onto that left foot. I like I'm going to cut back. Use that. Oh, I was going to say use that five star weak foot, but he actually used his preferred foot there, which is nev I'm never going to complain. At least it went in. Like, if it goes in, I'm never going to actually complain if he uses weak foot or stronger foot there. But he's a really, really good finish. But this is what I mean. With Undav, because he has that five star weak foot, you can turn either way. It's not like a person he has three star. You can only turn one way because it was very, very readable in that situation that I acted like I was going to turn onto the right. My opponent read the right. I went onto the left and it is a beautiful finish. Little tackle him. That is very lucky. That is insanely lucky. I wanted an RB turn there. Then probably just gone for a simple finesse into that far corner. But somehow it didn't really go the way I planned it to go. And he did do pretty well just to, you know, use his aggression and fight for the ball back. And it was actually a pretty decent tackle. But look at the finish. Once again, doing a little cheeky ball roll to get that direct angle. And the Stegen had no chance. Use that pace. Get that little cheeky fake shot around the corner. I'm telling you, he is fast. He is. And I still don't know how to, to this very day. 
How a day Militao caught him up. But that's a beautiful drag back. Can I get that near post finish? I'm not sure if he moved the keeper here. That is something I do want to see. Let me see on his replay. Did he move the keeper? No. And somehow to stay was there perfectly. Interesting. Now, he actually has a good jumping ability with amazing heading ability. So why not? Let's try a little cheeky near post header. It is going to be a good header, but... Nothing absolutely insane. Now, I must admit, I'm not the greatest at that. I'm not, you know, amazing at those little near post headers. But at least I'm, I'm attempting them, I guess. Mertens. To Undav. Undav with the turn. A little quick near post shot. And what a finish once again. I believe that is his third goal now. He's actually amazing in front of the net. Like, he hits it with so much power. He hits it with so much accuracy as well. And it doesn't really give to Stegen any chance of saving it, which is always going to be enjoyable. But look at the positioning once again. Sitting in front of the centre-back, waiting for that, you know, waiting for the ball to get given to him. So he can just do that quick turn, then go for that instant shot. Nice. I liked All right. I, even though I didn't get to him, I liked his movement there, okay? The fact that he saw... That he was about to be behind Boateng. Then it made that instant run going back up to give me a passing option. Was beautiful. That's all I need. Some of my players, even in weekend league, like Neymar and Mbappe sometimes, they don't even do that. They just continue making a run down and don't give me a passing option. But I like how Undav actually gave me that passing option. We have got him here. Make sure in. Five star weak foot. Oh, that's an insane block. Oh my god, that turn. Oh, please get a finish out of this. Oh, come on. I believe that is against that new Modric card as well. That was absolutely insane. The fact that he used his strength there just to fight for that ball, to keep it close to his feet as well with that high ball control is absolutely insane. But that turn, the RB turn, was absolutely disgusting. And once again, the shot, the accuracy, the power, Van der Sar has no chance once again. Come on, Undav. You got that 99 acceleration. You have the sprint speed as well. But you are having big struggles against this Militao card, aren't you? To be fair, he did pretty well in that situation. But this is the second time now we have played this Militao, right? And Undav just, I just can't get a grip around him. That wasn't the greatest touch either. I tried to take a quick touch to the left. Maybe do that drag back, uh, back towards that five-star weak foot. But he took a bad touch. We are going to try this near pose once again, though. Let's see if this one goes in. I am going to try to green time this one. Oh, I yellow timed it, but it wasn't too bad, to be fair. At least he won the ball. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Five star week for a day ago. The fact that he can shoot with both feet is absolutely ridiculous. But this time, this time, Eder Militao having troubles. Trying to, trying to guard Undav, but it's not working. It's really not. This time he does outstrength for them. He does outstrength them. Have the high aggression as well to fight for the ball. Make sure he comes out of it, and it is a, a beautiful finish towards that near post. So it is time to review him. Two games played, five goals. It's actually a pretty decent game to go ratio, I must say myself. He was an absolutely goal scoring machine. I loved him, and if there is one player that I would compare him to, it definitely would be Inter Milan's Martinez, simply because he had like a, the same body type as Martinez in game, but not just that. He had the same dribbling ability. He had the same shooting ability and everything really came into play now the freestyle skill moves is something i'm never gonna like and i will answer the question is he worth it it depends if you like freestyle skillers then yes he is 100 but if you're like me a five star slash four star skill a skiller i definitely would not advise getting this card simply because yes his shooting ability is one of the best i have seen i'm gonna say it, it really is the power the accuracy everything is there but because he is a bit too readable, yeah, he has got a five-star weak feet, can turn all your fit. But the thing is, you're creating, an, creating the angle is not amazing. It's not amazing. Like the running scoop turn, the Berber spin, the uh, flip flap is so important this year. And it, which makes these cards like Neymar, Mbappe, Ronaldo team of the year. It makes those cards so, so overpowered. Now, medium low work rates. I didn't actually see a problem with that. It acted like, to be fair, a high medium work rate without, the, without too many runs. The 5 foot 10 wasn't an issue at all for me. Pace wise, I would definitely give his pace a 9 out of 10 simply because there were some occasions that Adair Militao was catching up to him and saying that someone has that has 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed is getting caught up. It, you know, it's not what I expected. I was expecting him to outpace probably every single centre back apart, apart from I would say Aparva was probably going to be the only one that caught him up. But Adair Militao catching him up, I understand Adair is not a service of people, but come on now. Now, shooting-wise, he is an absolute beast. I am going to be shooting a 10 out of 10, without a doubt. He, the fact that he can do it with both feet as well, it just makes it super overpowered. Passing ability, I actually enjoyed it. 
There was a few other tops that did work consistently, but when he went for that proper long pass down the wing, that's when it kind of went out of play. So I am going to give his passing ability an 8 out of 10. Dribbling is really, really nice. Really nice. And this is why I compared him to Martinez, because he has that quick aspect of turning left and right. But there is some times where you turn at a tight angle, or maybe a like a Virgil van Dijk or a Dea Militao is running up to you and he's uh, he kind of pressing you. And then that's what happens. And then all of a sudden... It happens to have, you know, a bad touch going to a side at like a bad angle. And I feel like it's more composure than anything. Also, composure wise, like he didn't take a, he didn't take, you know, he didn't hit the post very much. Like it was something I was expecting him to hit the post with 84 composure. Like I was expecting him to hit the post so often it was crazy. And he didn't. He was like one of the best finishers I have seen. Jumping ability, we did try, I believe it was two near post headers on him off corners. And they didn't really go well, but at least he won both of them. That is something I love to see. Stamina wise, he did not last throughout the whole 90 minutes. I did play him throughout the whole 90 minutes in the first game. And I saw him die near like the 75th minute. So definitely get a super sub for him. 99 strength was outstanding. Outstanding. It's something I loved about this card. Yes, he has got a pretty star skill move, but you also have to understand if you turn at a tight angle, you instantly hold that L2 or LT button, depending if you're on Xbox or PS4. And he instantly shields off the guy. And he does not allow people like Adair, Van Dijk, Apara, Boateng, all these players to just get past him because he's holding them off. He's got that 99 strength. The aggression as well, I, I've really enjoyed him fighting for the ball. But I am going to give his physical stats, I would say, I would say a 9 out of 10. An 8.5. I'll give an 8.5. Simply because the stamina is a bit of a killer. But we do have to give him an overall rating out of 10. And he was a good card. I really did enjoy him. I, I'm going to give him an 8.5. I believe so. I don't believe he deserves any lower. I don't believe he deserves any higher. But if you guys enjoyed the review, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.